I'm going to try to work in a little bit quicker. Um, if you guys remember, we did uh, rational expressions. Actually, I didn't even get to that. But it was on your uh, summer assignment, was adding and subtracting rational expressions. And if you guys remember, if you were to think about this, if I had, again, replacing things with x and y's, if you had to add these together, right, or subtract these together, these are both rational expressions, or both fractions. Remember, for adding and subtracting fractions, you have to have common denominator, right? So your least common denominator, your least common denominator here would be the um, expression x times 1 minus y. So you'd multiply both sides by 1 minus x minus y. Does that make sense? Now, that's just what you would do if it was in Algebra 2. In Algebra 2, that's what you guys did. All we're doing now is just doing the exact same thing, but with trigonometric expressions. So the LCD in this case is cosine right over here. Your LCD is cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x. Does everybody agree? Mm -hmm. So to get common denominators, you multiply, um, you multiply so that both of them have the common denominator. So here I'll multiply by cosine of x over cosine of x. Here I'll multiply by 1 minus sine of x over 1 minus sine of x. Everybody agree with me? Is everybody okay? Okay. <laughs> cosine times cosine is? I'm going to distribute this. Um, <laughs> what cancels out? Well, you're just multiplying that times that. Bottom. Right. If you, on the top. Well, yeah. If you delete, if you divide those out, then you never change the problem. Right. right. So you have cosine of x. Um, should I delete this? I don't remember. Should I distribute? I no, will leave that as is. Okay. I'll leave this. I'll leave the denominator as the product because it probably will help me divide out. So I apply distributive property here. And then here's my denominator, is my product. I just apply distributive property. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared of x. Negative sine of x times 1 is negative sine of x. Sine squared, sine, negative sine of x times negative sine of x is sine squared. Now, again, Pythagorean identity will be provided to you. What is sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x? It's equal to 1. Do you guys see that that's equal to 1? Do you guys see that? Yes. So in reality, this is 1 minus sine of x all over cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x. Well, do you guys see that those expressions in the parentheses are exactly the same? So by using the division property, they divide out which is leaving us with 1 over the cosine of x. Do you guys remember what 1 over cosine of x is? The reciprocal. There you go. 